Rendering exemplary services in the field of education for the past 50 years, Holy Child Higher Secondary School on 23rd September set the ball rolling to mark 2022 as its golden jubilee year to commemorate its inception in 1973. As the lamb is lighted, let us all give a big round of applause. The celebration featured the students and staff putting up incredible heartwarming performances and programs showcasing the talents of this prestigious institution. Speaking on the occasion, the chief guest Lok Sabha MP Vincent Pala lauded the efforts of the school authorities and requested the students to work hard, stay determined and generate life-changing ideas in the manner that Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell had all done in their times. Others present on the occasion were Archbishop Victor Lindor, Patricia Mukim, Jemino Mautho, Latiplang Kalkungol, parents and alumni. As we praise and thank you for the gift of this day in which the inauguration of Golden Jubilee of the school, Lord bless all the teachers, parents, management of the students, bless the cake which be cut in memory of this golden jubilee. May it make everyone sweet in our daily life, in our journey ahead. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. As part of the celebrations, a golden jubilee cake was also jointly cut by Archbishop Victor Lindor and Vincent Pala. Today, I stand before this gathering, which will go down in history as an immemorable one, the significance of this momentous occasion makes me realize that though that each one of us is part of history in the making, the present owes much to the past. The glorious 50 years began with a humble beginning. The Holy Child School started with a pure intention of maintaining the senior citizens who were admitted to the old age home when they were left unattended. The sisters were invited by late Archbishop Hibad de Rosario to take care of them. Since Sisters had no means for catering the elderly. The Archbishop asked the sisters to start the primary school. Thus, in October 1973, sisters started the nursery classes, along with that, boarding for students coming from distant places. It is difficult to believe that the dream once perceived is now become a reality. Young hearts given to our care have bloomed, blossomed, and today their fragrance is spreading all over wherever they are. We are glad indeed that you are present with us to reminisce the golden years of our presence here. We come to school to learn something because that knowledge that we gather during school must be relevant to us throughout life, otherwise it's meaningless. And we come here to learn not just book knowledge, we, learn, we come here to learn social skills, which is how to get along with one another despite our so-called ethnic differences. And this is the good part about Holy Child School, that we have had students from different communities across the region. We come here to learn life skills, which is how to be involved in community life beyond the classroom. These days we don't see too much of that happening. Socially useful, productive work has become 
a classroom, school-oriented work. We don't reach out to the communities. We don't look at whether the environment needs our assistance. So I would request Sister Delphine to please see that you are also involved in community work. We come to school to learn the power of articulation, to be able to speak clearly, coherently, and to have our voices heard. Please remember, students, we are in a democracy. If our voices are not heard, then we are not going to have good governance. Above all, and this I say with emphasis, we need to build in children, dear teachers, the power to question. Let them question us. Let them question our teaching. Because then they will learn to question the government. If we do not question the government, we are not going to get a government that delivers. And last but not least, I think all of us have to take responsibility. As young students, you have responsibilities that are not so great as you go, as you grow and get out into the world, you'll have bigger responsibilities. So please do take up those responsibilities and see that you give your best to the world, to your family and to yourself.
Psalm 118.24. This is the day the Lord has made. May we rejoice and be glad in it. With immense joy and happiness, I join all of you in the celebration of your Golden Jubilee. It's always wonderful to be here with sisters, students, and teachers. The last 50 years has been remarkable. We have experienced, and all of you have experienced, ups and downs in life. You also have experienced sorrowful. Many teachers and sisters have passed ahead of us. But all of you have been bravely driven ahead without compromising your values of faith and without losing enthusiasm. I sincerely admire the passion for education that drives all of us here. We thank the founders and the sisters who have been the dream and the vision of the institution as well as the determination to fulfill the vision 50 years ago. They would have been proud to see their dreams is successful and to see that the commitment for education going strong. Let us remember that with values, with ideas, for example, the students will always remember Alexander Graham Bell when we think about telephone. We will always, when we remember about bulbs, lights, We'll always remember Thomas Edison. When we think about flight, we'll always remember of the Wright brothers. These are the ideas. So I request all the students, when you do your homework, when you study, not only for the knowledge, so try to generate ideas. Sometimes one good idea, one excellent idea, can change the society and can change the world. Therefore, I request all of you to be honest in your life, hard work, and determined to be one of the valued human beings on this earth. A friend once told me that a school is judged by its products. And if you are a product of Holy Child, then the school must be a good one. This person didn't know about the school. I felt very proud. You know, the person I am today reflects the quality of the school that I passed out from. It also makes me wonder, it also makes me uh, think of the, the thousands of students who have passed out of the school over the last 28 years. Wherever they may be, in whatever positions they are now, they will also be carrying the name of the school forward and making the school proud. I, I stand here with pride to say that I am a student of Holy Child School and I was amongst the first batch, we were 16 of us then, who appeared for the class 10 exams representing Holy Child School for the first time. And as Sister Delphine had mentioned earlier about the school uh, progressing, I, I'm happy to tell you that we were the, you know, we were the, we were the batch who were seniors for now six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five years. I think mean, we were the fortunate ones who got to be seniors for five years. Um, unfortunately, there was no, there were no 11, 12 then, we had to leave. And I remember in, when I was in class 10, that was in 1993, I, we had a small classroom because we were only 16 of us, and the window of the classroom overlooked the ground. So I would sit at the window and look out and I would see these, um, you know, the, the young students who had just joined, they were walking in a line and it made me sad because I, I suddenly realized that that was my last year that I would be wearing my uniform. I thought of those students and I was like jealous that they were still have, going to have so many more years to wear the uniforms. And that's why today, Sister Sorry, I have no golden on me, but this is the closest that I have to um, some semblance of 
of a uniform, you know the grey skirt that we used to wear, I would not wear a red sweater now, but we had a red sweater then and I'm happy that, you know, the uniforms have not changed, a bit modifications here and there, but yeah, the uniforms have stayed the same from the time when we were in school till now. To all the students who are still here, please consider yourself fortunate that you are a student of Holy Child School. There are many other students who do not have the opportunity like you have. The facilities in the school, the infrastructure, the opportunities. Please make use of the time that you are in the school. Because when you go out from here, life will be different. You will not get back these moments. You will not get back the time that you have in school. As the school anthem says, Hail to our happy school days. Make the best use of the time here.